Okay, so this is uh, your lesson, and it's a measurement lesson, and we're going to start with perimeter. For perimeter, basically you're going to add up all the sides. So if this side is 5, 5, 5, and 5, that should be a 5. Then your perimeter equals 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, which equals 20. And if these are centimeters, which we can say they are, then you're looking at 20 centimeters. So perimeter is just adding up the different numbers. And your perimeter question said that design a shape that equals 35 centimeters. 35 centimeters, that's your perimeter question. Okay, next is the circumference or the perimeter of a circle. So there's two ways to measure circumference or the perimeter of a circle. The first one we're going to talk about deals with the diameter. So let's pretend that we know the diameter and the diameter is 10. So the first calculation for a perimeter is pi d. Now pi always equals 3.14. So if you have 3.14 and you multiply it by the diameter in this situation is 10, then the results, well, I can let you figure out the results. So 3.14 times 10, you guys can do the math. Next, the next way that you can do this, I'm going to move this out of the way here. The next way that you do this is if you have the radius. The radius is when you know half the length of diameter. So I'm going to move this up and we're going to say that's the radius. And we're going to say the radius is 5. The calculation when you have the radius, when the question gives you the radius, is a bit different. It looks like 2 pi r. The r stands for the radius, just like the d stood for the diameter. So we have 5 centimeters. So 2 pi r, in this situation we'll put the 2, we'll put 3.14 times 5 because that's the radius. Then what you do is you multiply. You get the results here and then you multiply the brackets by 2. So 2 times whatever 3.14 times 5 is. For your circumference you can choose either way of doing this in this situation because your question states that you must create a circle that has a circumference that is greater than 45. You must create a circle and show me the math where the circumference is greater than 45. Okay? So that deals with the perimeter of a circle. Now let's talk area of a rectangle. The area of a rectangle, you figure out area by multiplying length times width. So in this situation, we'll say the length is 10 and the width is 6. So area equals 10 times 6. And we're going to say these are centimeters. I'm doing a bad job of putting in the area of measure or the measurement. So make sure you put those in. The area total is 60 centimeters. I also forgot to mention that you can use a calculator when you're dealing with pi or in uh, most of these questions. The area of a triangle. It's a bit different. You have a couple ways of doing this. I'm going to show you the way that, um, that I learned, but there is other ways. So area of a triangle equals base times height, and you're going to divide that by 2. Okay? So let's pretend that this is 6 and this is 4. Okay? So area equals 6 times 4 divided by 2. So area equals 24 divided by 2. So the area of this triangle, again, equals 12 centimeters. Now, I forgot to mention something with the rectangle. When you're dealing with area, you're going to square the answer. So 12 centimeters square. So I'm going to go back here, and this is actually 60 centimeters square. When dealing with area, you're squaring the answer. So it is actually... 12 centimeters square. Okay? So to get the area of a triangle, area equals base times height divided by 2. Now we're going to talk about the area of a circle. That is a little bit tricky, but if you know this, pi r squared. So the r stands for the radius. We're going to put the radius and we're going to make it 5 again, 5 centimeters. 
okay? We know pi equals 3.14, so we've got a lot of this stuff already done. This r squared is an exponent, so based on bed mass, we know we have to do it first. So let's put the numbers in. I'm going to put pi, and I'm going to put 5 squared. Now with the exponent, it's not 5 times 2 like some people believe. It's actually the number times the number. So 1, 2, 2 times of the number. So that 2 represents this. So 5 times 5 is 25. So it means you have pi times 25, which looks like 3.14 times 25, and these are all done in centimeters. Okay? 25 centimeters, and I'm not going to figure that out. You can figure that out. So 3.14 times 25 centimeters equals something centimeters squared, because this is the area of a circle. So to figure out the area of the circle, it is pi r squared. For this one, you can set up any, any single s uh, area, any single area of a circle. I just want you to show me that you can do the question the volume of a rectangle. Volume is measured by doing length times width times height. Volume equals length times width times height. So we're going to pretend, and actually it doesn't work with this, we're going to have to add to this. So we're going to do this, this, So, we're going to say the length is 10, the width is 5, and the height is 4. So, volume equals length, which is 10, times width, which is 5, times height, which is 4. So, 10 times 5 is 50, times 4. So, you have 200 centimeters. Now, because this is the volume, you're actually cubing your answer because you're working more with three dimensions. So it's 200 centimeters cubed. For this volume question, you have to create a shape that has the volume of 180 centimeters cubed. That is your question for this one. Create a shape that has a volume of 180 centimeters cubed. So, length times width times height, so something times something times something, and it has to equal 180 centimeters cubed. The last one we're going to look at is surface area. Surface area, and I've got this question up here, surface area is done a bit different. The actual equation for surface area is 2 times area A plus area B plus area C. So what is area A, B, and C? Basically, you're going to take this shape and you're going to break it into A, into B, and into C. So A is this shape here, B is this one here, and C is your top. So let's start with area A. So area A, to find area, you have to do length times width. So that is 3 times 2. So, and this is, says feet, but we're going to do centimeters. So the area A is 6 centimeters squared. So that's area B, A. Now let's check area B. Area B is length times width, so that 2 feet is here and 6 feet. So I'm going to do 2 times 6, so it's 12 centimeters cubed for area B. Area C is up here. You'll see this 6 foot is right here. And this 3 feet is right here. So that's 3 and that's 6. So area C equals 3 times 6, which equals 18 centimeters cubed. So now, you're going to do plug these numbers into this equation. So 2 and area A equals 6 centimeters, plus area B, which equals 12 centimeters, plus area C, which equals sorry, 18 centimeters, and these are all centimeters squared, you're going to add up these three and multiply them by 2. So 6 plus 12 is 18. 18 plus 18 is 36 centimeters cubed. You're going to multiply that by 2, and you're going to get 72.
centimeters cubed. For the surface area question, you are going to build a shape that has a total of 650 centimeters cubed. 650 centimeters cubed. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of a, uh, a hint. Good luck.